Well, cheers and how do you do, buckaroos? If you can hear the mighty, mighty bus tones, <laughs> the impression that I get, I don't know the rest. Knock on wood. Love the two, though. One of my favorites. Which makes me wonder if I could. Makes me wonder if I ever had to knock on wood. But I haven't yet. Because I'm sure it isn't good. Is the impression that I get. So, uh, I'll do this video under the purview of the Whiskey Whisper because I, I don't have the knowledge or the love of wine to ever call myself the Wine Whisper. But I was curious, you are starting to see more of these bourbon barrel aged wines. So I decided to try this one. I went to a big box store today and they had several on various price ranges. And this one was sort of in the middle there, more on the lower side. Uh, I didn't want to pony up a lot of money. I just kind of wanted to get a feel for it. So batch number 198, our small batch Cabernet Sauvignon is bourbon barrel aged for three months, then blended for perfection. Bourbon barrel aged three months, Cabernet Sauvignon, at Vigis 2014 North Coast, California. So let's show you that label. See so if I can read some of this here. The varietals are the Cabernet Sauvignon that's barrel aged. That's blended with Merlot and Petit Syrah. Never been tested. 14.8 percent vintage 2014. They tell you to look for notes, so they to look for layers of blackberry flavors. Blackberry flavors are accented by vanilla and caramel nuances, imparted by the bourbon barrel. So there you go. And they basically tell you to pair with hearty foods, a porterhouse steak, a bison burger, that sort of thing. Actually, I thought I poured me a better glass in I am going to top that glass off just a touch. I know wine drinkers only pour the glass up so high, but I'm, I'm you know. <laughs> anyway, cheers. I, have, I don't get a lot of call to use my family crest wine glasses. These were, my dad bought these for my mom uh, a lot of many, many years ago. Uh, but she doesn't have a use for them, and she knows I appreciate the glassware, so. Uh, I know this is probably more designed to carry whiskey, but I know my mom always decanted wine in it, so I figured, what the heck. Figured I decant it all, and I let it sit a while before I came on and had a glass. So we set that there. I just don't get a, a chance that often to use these, and I wanted to use them. They tell you blackberry, and I don't eat a lot of blackberries, so, but, so I'm sure that's there. But what I'm picking out is, is more black cherry notes, and I'm sure that's just from my experiences. That's what my brain is telling me what I'm, you know, that's interpreting what I'm, what I'm smelling. You can hear, <laughs> you can hear real big fish, beer. I don't know the rides, man. So I do get black blackberry. I also feel like I'm getting black cherry on the nose. You do feel some some oaky notes for sure. I feel like I'm getting uh, the slight char and spice from the bourbon barrel as well. Feel a little bit of vanilla on the nose. I don't know that I'm getting the caramel on the nose, but I'm certainly feeling a little vanilla. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. Yeah, I'm kind of enjoying it, man. I don't typically drink a lot of wine, but it kind of when I started reading it all, I, I don't know, kind of felt like it hit the spots. <laughs> You know, I didn't want something different than beer. I didn't want to go straight to whiskey. I wanted some, something in the middle. You know what I'm saying? 14.8%. This is about the ABV of a nice barrel aged <laughs> something or other. Barrel aged stout, you know, or a, barrel, or a barley wine, you know. Uh, you do feel all those whiskey notes. Uh, you do feel a little caramel in there. It comes out more towards the end. You feel the vanilla sort of runs all the way through. Uh, blackberry, I'm going to also say black cherry because I'm really feeling some cherry notes, man.
I still feel like I'm getting a little sweet apple. I still feel like I'm getting a little pomegranate notes in here. Yeah, that could be me. I'm not a wine guy. I don't pretend to be a wine guy. Uh, all I can do is tell you what I get, right? <laughs> so oh, that's how I'm feeling it, by golly. So anyway, I just, you know, and every once in a while, I just feel the need to get these out. I don't want them just sitting in a cabinet and not getting used. That bugs me. <laughs> things, ought to, things need to get used, man. They just do. You really feel the whiskey notes right near the end. You really do, man. It's, it's nice. It makes a, a complex wine even more complex. Or I should say adds a little more complexity to the wine. Probably would have been the better way to put that. <laughs> Anyways, it's enjoyable. What can I say? Would I drink this every day? No, I don't drink beer every day. Would I drink this uh, once a week? Honestly, probably not. However, here's the caveat. As it's getting colder and as we're going into the fall, you know, the, this product I'm really finding very satisfying. And there was a time back in the late 90s that I was really, you know, getting to know wine and getting comfortable with wine and, and trying to learn a lot about wine. But then craft beer was the direction I did. And I really just decided to put my focus there because that really is where my love is, is craft beer and, and, and good whiskey. But I got to tell you, I, I may start trying to put a little energy to, to learning a little more about wine. So there you go. If you can hear Bob Margolin slam him down, I don't know the rise, but it's a damn fine too. I slam him down. When I slam him down. That's a great friggin' too. I slam him down. I slam him down. Anyway, that's a great blues too. Anyway. Uh, I really like this, man. I got to tell you, the, 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 the more I drink, the more I like. So there you go. If you feel like I'm getting a hint of sweet apple. Uh, like I said, the pomegranate, the, the primary notes are the blackberry and the black cherry for me anyway. Uh, but there's no telling what you might get. Like I said, I'm not pretending to be a wine expert here. I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm coming at it from the perspective of a craft beer drinker. So there you go. Maybe that'll be my next stick, the honest, non pretentious wine guy. I don't know. <laughs> we'll work on it. I'll see. But but yeah, I, as much as I like this, I, I I may try to you know maybe purchase another bottle you know every week or every two weeks just to try to get more familiar with them. Uh, I don't know that I ever become a serious wine drinker, but I do like the idea of of a bourbon barrel aged wine. So there you go. So I am Tom, uh, uh, so I do this video under the, the purview of Whiskey Whisper. so I am Tom the Whiskey Whisper, dabbling in some bourbon barrel aged wine, prolific whiskey drinker, occasional wine drinker, <laughs> prolific whiskey drinker, occasional wine drinker, a uh, purveyor wisdom man. All right, good guy, remember folks, life, life is serious. Even wine shouldn't be serious. Lighten up, man. Uh. Cheers, y'all.